islands. What part of illegal now became legal that we are forced into a process that does not work, has not worked, because even the bill to collaborate people, it says nothing. There's a disclaimer on this bill. These bills have been developed by Native Hawaiians, for Native Hawaiians, following extensive consultation. Yakako, na kapo iya e okay. Yakako iya mabuaku. Well, Luhi Bao, Ika, Lohi Anna, Ike Kama Ileo, No Koka O Pilina Ya America, Yao, A O Pilina Ya America, Mako Ko Yao, Ta Pilina, Ay, O Luhu Ia, O Kawa Ia, O Yawai Malalu America, No Kome Mako Ia, O Lako Mulele, O Lako Hei Anna, Maluna, Mini Anna, Kiko Anna, Mana, Maluna, La Kana Apao, Ultimately, however, it is the people of Hawaii who will decide whether these measures should be enacted into law. To hurry the acceptance of a contract upon an unsuspecting party like us, the Hawaiian people, or all the people of Hawaii, with full knowledge that it is not perfect, to me, is a willful intent to do harm. <laughs> As the elected representatives of all the citizens of Hawaii, we await your guidance. It is also the laws of the Hawaiian Kingdom. These individuals repatriated back to their nation. The United States of America is aware of this government. That's why they are acting on the apology bill that was recognized in 1993. They had seven years to work out a relationship now they want to do it within four months and ram it down our throats. My friends, if we can't do this, you will be left in chaos. And, and the reason for the bill is to deal with the federal side. If you don't recognize the federal side, then you have no business here. There is a long list of broken promises and breaches of trust. It will take America a long time before they will ever win back our trust. One, it will protect Native Hawaiian programs, including Hawaiian homes, from court challenges by those who would deny or ignore the unique historical circumstances that makes these programs legitimate and necessary. The Office of Hawaiian Affairs has engaged in a campaign blitz using Section 5F revenues that are supposed to be used to benefit Native Hawaiians, but instead the Office of Hawaiian Affairs has turned its back on the Native Hawaiians as defined in the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act of 1920. They are not helping out the Native Hawaiians as defined in the Hawaiian Homes Commission Act of 1920. They are not helping out the, Na the people that are still dying on the Hawaiian Homes waiting list. Two, it will provide a mechanism for Native Hawaiians to organize and establish a legal entity for self-government, again, which cannot be challenged successfully in the courts. Absent that, we have only uh, rhetorical flights of fancy. Many individuals on this force are not Kanaka Maori. And many have taken the oath of allegiance to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the state of Hawaii. Why should we let citizens of another nation build a nation of our own choosing? So that there's no confusion as to what we're about. It acknowledges a federal trust responsibility for Native Hawaiians. It recognizes Native Hawaiians' right of self-governance as a Native people, and it lays out a process for Native Hawaiians to establish a structure of self-governance. Nothing more, nothing less. But in exchange for the potential for future funding, the Kanaka Maoli would give up their quest for true sovereignty. And I disagree with anyone who says that that is not the consequence of what this bill is. I look forward to hearing what you have to say about the legislation today. What was the reward of that hundred years of defamation and overthrow by all representatives? And yet we have colleagues who come up here and speak about how this is better for Hawaiians. Shame on you. This is the most wealthy nation in the world, the most powerful nation in the world. And people are dying waiting for homes, land that they own by birthright. And you are going to change that with this bill? I have been asked, why do we need to 
rush this legislation? I'm surprised by this question. Come on, Mary. Come on. Senator Akaka, in threatening the Kanaka Maoli people by suggesting that the window of opportunity is closing because the Clinton administration is coming to an end, does a great disservice to Native Hawaiians. Yeah. The Akaka bill is a step back from Public Law 103150. That's right. That's right. The acknowledgement of the illegal overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii by the United States should open the door to nation to nation recognition. I hereby state that the reinstated Hawaiian government regards this proposed U.S. legislation as an act of bad faith and a deliberate departure by an oppressive country from the rule of law is that a government-to-government -government relationship provides Native Hawaiians with a seat at the table. It's like saying, well, with this legislation, you'll be as free as a bird in a cage. I believe in sovereignty. I'm here to, uh, to, to say that I support the bill. I am uh, mostly noted for one song called Tiny Bubbles. If you use your brains, you will know that the time for sovereignty now is not the time. We don't know how to handle those guys in Congress. That's what we campaign for you for. For be not deceived, God is not mocked. The people are for whom your father stole of the living God and taught to call Father, and to whom the sons now seek to destroy and destroy, are called crying out loud to him in their time of trouble. And he will keep his promise. And he will listen to the voices of his Hawaiian children lamenting for their home. May the great ones bless you for who you are. May Kiafu ascend guiding angels to watch over and guide you in your long and distant travel. Of all, make ha ha I humbly remain. Patrick L. Kahawai Televised hearings clearly show that the majority feeling of those testifying were for complete independence and self-determination. We do not have an army to fight America for re the return of Hawaii. We can keep insisting on the rights until the end of time, but no one is listening. This bill is the only vehicle that will recognize us as Kanaka Maoli. Please relay our message of hope to your colleagues in Congress. Aloha and mahalo anui loa kako. I thank you very much to all the Mexicans. To all our people with the Pinicoco who love aloha our aina. You will never see your land again. Never. Not in my lifetime, not in your lifetime, not in your grandchildren, and on into the future and in perpetuity. You will never see your land from this day forth if you support this bill. That's right. This is my son, Onipo Okela Oya Ibo Aoki Kalo Izike Ela Kopa Akopa'a. He is raised in the old style and the new style. With characteristic U.S. arrogance and disrespect, Congressman Neil Abercrombie sits alone in a room full of standing people. Everyone will be heard in good order. Good order will be maintained during these hearings. We expect everyone to...
this legislation brings all of us together.